September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and Wake Forest football is stepping up for it. This Saturday, players are teaming up with Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist to help tackle childhood cancer. The action kicks off at a legacy stadium as the Deeks take on Virginia and their ACC opener. And joining us now, we have Dr. Alyssa Starbuck from Atrium Health and Corey Raymond, the Associate AD for Fan Experience at Wake Forest Athletics. Thank you so much to the both of you for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks. You're very welcome. Corey, let's begin with you. Please share what's planned for this matchup tomorrow. Yeah, so we are super excited to host Virginia tomorrow night um, for our first ever Gold Rush game, um, which we've partnered with Atrium on. And so this game is all about raising awareness for childhood cancer. Um, one big component of that are proceeds. Um, we'll be going back from ticket sales and a commemorative t-shirt that we produced. And so we are so excited for this partnership and just to support a great cause. I love that it's your inaugural year of this as well, too. And I'm sure it will really help raise awareness. Dr. Starbuck, we turn to you now to just explain what this means for Atrium to partner with Wake Forest Football. Yeah, thank you and good morning. We are so delighted to partner with Wake Forest University on this venture. Um, and childhood cancer affects a lot of families in our area and children every day. But the good news is, about 80% of children today can survive and are cured from childhood cancer. So really raising that awareness that the, the research and all the things we do every day matters. And now our community and our fans will have a chance to be involved and participate and support in this effort. And as far as the funds go, Dr. Starbuck, could you share where exactly that money will be used there at the hospital for patients? Yeah, absolutely. As you know, families go through a long journey with cancer, so we try to use those funds to help support travel, meals, and comfort services. We have things like pet therapy, art and music therapy, and all those things enhance the experience of a child who's undergoing treatment. Okay, and Corey, besides raising these important funds by tickets and t-shirt sales, as you mentioned, are there any special promotions that um, fans can look out for tomorrow night? Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of our Gold Rush theme present in tomorrow's game, starting with you know, our coin toss kid. We have a young man named Lane who is a patient and receives care at Brenner. Um, our football team will have gold ribbon decals on the back of their helmets. Fans will also see that decal painted on our Deacon Hill right below the video board. Um, we'll be giving away gold pom-poms. We have gold t-shirts for our students. So there's going to be a lot of gold um, and awareness going out for this game. Oh, wow, that's a ton of great things for people to look forward to. Thank you for mentioning that. And as we have you, if you would like to give a preview now of kind of this upcoming season, some other special things or maybe other promotions you're doing for good causes. Yeah, we've got a pretty great home schedule coming down the stretch as well. Um, next weekend, we have Old Miss coming to town from the SEC. That's going to be an absolutely huge matchup for homecoming, which is always a fan favorite. And then uh, two weeks after that, we have family weekend against Louisiana. Another massive game for us. We're expecting uh, some great crowds to come out and watch and support the Deeks. What a great month for you guys, too, to kick off football season. Thank you for your time, both of you. Dr. Starbuck, also thank you for supporting this wonderful initiative. We hope you reach all of your big goals. And as of this morning, there was just one ticket left to tomorrow's game. So we're glad to bring that to our viewers. We'll have more information about that.